Hey kids, it's Dad. <clears throat> it is a Saturday. Busy morning. Uh, Claire's off at an autism walk. Uh, Tommy's off at a track meet, expecting a call from any time for us to go back to uh, watch him perform. Uh, Becky's at school. Kids are outside playing, uh, playing sticks and collecting stuff. Just uh, moved everything in the garage. Snow blowers out of pole position. Uh, started up the blower, started up the, the leaf blower, started up the lawnmower, so we got all that happiness. Lawnmower, first pull started. Wow. Hasn't run since November. End of October, so November, December, January, February, March, April, 1st of May. Gosh, six months it hasn't run. First pull. Can't beat that. Lawn boy. Wow. So I got to share with you an experience yesterday. I'm going to have a hard time getting through it. Uh, but it really blew me away. A gentleman by the name of Bob Burns came into our shop yesterday. Elderly gentleman, I'd give 70, 75-ish. So certainly my dad's age. Uh, <clears throat> and he is a master teacher PGA professional. And as he tells it, one of the top 50 in the country. Okay, pretty amazing. Um, he um, uh, has been doing some things that are pretty darn special. Um, he, uh, through his teaching and through his understanding of the game, has been reaching out to wounded veterans who have, uh, you know, maybe lost a limb, lost coordination, lost balance, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, you know, maybe they had surgeries, maybe they had, you know, amputations, whatever this happened to be. And he's actually helped build uh, prosthetic golfing gear for these people. And he gave me this book, probably this thick. And I just started leafing through this book. And it had picture after picture of life that he's touched uh, for to make people better, to make them love this game. Now, I'm not an avid golfer. Uh, uh, I've played a couple times. I've played once in the last 10 years. I enjoyed myself. Don't get me wrong. I sucked at it. Uh, but, oh, man, there was something special about this gentleman. So Bob was awarded like one of the highest civilian honors in the Wisconsin National Guard for his work that he's done with these wounded soldiers. He's been to like Bethesda Naval Hospital. He whittled off all these things and boy, this guy's the most humble person I've met in the longest time. And I just started crying there in front of him. And he got emotional too. And it was really, uh, it was such a blessing to be able to meet this guy and just see. And he says, I got 10, 12 more books this thick, just a full of, stories like this and he must have been spending years and years and years and he's helped develop special golf gloves he's helped develop special swing techniques uh, there was a gentleman who <clears throat> was um, in a wheelchair and he helped develop a special golf tee like table that can go up and down so the guy can sit in his golf he can sit in his wheelchair and he can golf like everybody else and it was so humbling. Uh, Bob, that's not the first time you've come. That, this is the first time you've come into my life, and I hope it's not the last. <clears throat> um, I think we all need to be a little bit like Bob. Because Bob, who is just amazing wants to share his story nationwide and kind of wanted our help on how we can share that story because there's probably got to be 100 Bobs around the country who can help the thousands and tens of thousands of people who uh, might have a, a disability, might be wounded, who have a love for the game of golf. Bob, thank you for touching my life. You are amazing. We need to be more like you. I need to be more like you. Uh, I love you, Madeline. I love you, Claire. I love you, Tommy. I love you, Emma. 
Right. So much love you, Drew. Emma's birthday's coming up. Happy almost seventh birthday. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.